Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will learn how to calculate medication dosages by applying ratio and proportion, dimensional analysis or formula method. First of all let us discuss calculating medication dosages by applying ratio and proportion. Now we can use ratio and proportion calculations for a variety of oral intramuscular, subcutaneous and intravenous calculations. Now we know that ratio is a relationship in terms of size, amount or quantity of two or more things. These are pairs of numbers which are used to make comparisons between the numbers. We generally separate the two numbers in the ratio with a colon Suppose we want to write the ratio of these two numbers, that is 1 and 2. So the ratio of these two numbers can be written as 1, then we put a colon that represents a ratio, and then 2. Or in fraction, that is 1 upon 2, and we say it as 1 to 2. Also we know that proportion is the relationship of one part to another or the whole with respect to size, amount or quantity. It is an equation with a ratio on each side of equal sign. For example, 2 is to 3 is equal to 4 is to 6 or 2 upon 3 is equal to 4 upon 6. Now let us discuss an example to see how we can use ratio in proportion for calculating radical dosages. Now the example says that doctor's order is equal to 240 milligrams of a medication PO that is per orum which means taken orally. Medication label says that one tablet is equal to 120 milligrams. Now how many tablets will you administer? Now let us start with its solution. Now let the number of tablets that should be administered is equal to X. Now doctor's order is equal to 240 milligrams of a medication per orum. This means X tablet is equal to 240 milligrams. Now medication label says that one tablet is equal to 120 milligrams. Now from this we get the ratio as X tablet is to 240 milligrams. And from this relationship, we get the ratio as 1 tablet is to 120 milligrams. Now we will equate these two ratios and we have this proportion as X tablets is to 240 milligrams is equal to 1 tablet is to 120 milligrams. This implies X tablets upon 240 milligrams is equal to 1 tablet upon 120 milligrams. Now by cross multiplying we get X tablets is equal to 240 milligrams into 1 tablet upon 120 milligrams. Now we will cancel milligrams with milligrams and 120 into 2 is 240. So this is equal to 2 tablets. Therefore, we get x is equal to 2 tablets. So, the patient should be administered two tablets. So for solving this problem, we have used the concept of ratio and proportion.
From these two statements, we have got two ratios. Then we equated these two ratios. And here we have written this equation in such a way that tablets comes first, then milligrams. Now this is very important. It doesn't matter which unit comes first as long as they are in the same order on both sides of the equal sign. And on simplifying this equation, we get the required answer. Now let us discuss how to calculate medication dosages by applying dimensional analysis. Now dimensional analysis is the simplest method of calculating all dosages. It systematically converts one unit of measurement to another by using a conversion factor. It works for a wide variety of oral, intramuscular, subcutaneous and intravenous calculations. In order to calculate dosages using dimensional analysis, set up an equation which consists of starting factor, one or more conversion factors and the answer unit. After writing this equation, the final step is to cancel out numbers using simple mathematics and multiplying the remaining numbers. So, dimensional analysis is a systematic mathematical process that results in consistent accuracy provided the equation is set up correctly. Now, in dimensional analysis, we simply multiply straight across on both sides of the horizontal line if applicable and then divide. There is no cross multiplication or algebra involved in this method of problem solving. Now let us discuss an example. Here, doctor's order says tetracycline syrup 240 milligrams, medication label says Tetracycline syrup, 60 milligrams per milliliter. How many milliliters should you administer? Now we will solve this problem using dimensional analysis method. For this we have to find out three things. First is starting factor. Second is conversion factor. And third is the answer unit. Here the starting factor is the dosage in the doctor's order. That is 240 milligrams. So starting factor is 240 milligrams. Now we want our answer in milliliters. So the answer unit is milliliters. Now we have to find the conversion factor. For this let us see the medication label which says that tetracycline syrup 60 milligrams per milliliter. That is 60 milligrams per 1 milliliter. That is the number of milligrams that are contained in each milliliter of the syrup. So 1 milliliter is equal to 60 milligrams. Now our starting factor is in milligrams and answer unit is in milliliters. It means we want our result in milliliters. So the conversion factor will be a fraction in which numerator is in milliliters and denominator is in milligrams. So here from this relation we have got the conversion factor as 1 milliliter upon 60 milligrams. Now we set up an equation as starting factor into conversion factor is equal to answer unit. So this implies starting factor that is 240 milligrams into conversion factor that is 1 milliliter upon 60 milligrams is equal to answer unit that is in milliliters. 
Now, milligrams, pencils with milligrams and 16 into 4 is 240 and 4 into 1 milliliter is equal to 4 milliliters. So, you should administer 4 milliliters of syrup to the patient. So, here we have calculated the medication dosage using dimensional analysis method. So, in this fashion we have learned how to calculate medication dosages by applying ratio and proportion, dimensional analysis or formula method. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.